Hi everyone, I hope you're all well and had a great weekend. We are here this Monday, so we will be kicking off with a brand new team in our Pokemon VGC 2019 Battle Series. We are in the Ultra Series, of course. And like I said on Friday, I will be playing the team that I featured at the Bristol Regional this past weekend. And unfortunately, it didn't go as well as I wanted. Um, I didn't have the best roles in some of my games. I had some really tough opponents as well. And maybe the team I picked wasn't as polished as I wanted. So I'm just going to pull it up on the screen right now. This is a team, as you can see on your screen, uh, that I did play in Bristol, which was centered around Evelto, Groudon, with the Metagross, Tapu Fini, Incineroar, and Cartana. And, you know, it did really well. It did really well. Um, I played a bunch of X-Ray teams, which is great. I played uh, Rayoga and, I think, uh, a Kyoga Evelto team. Yeah, that was the one. Um, so, yeah, I had Precipice Blades happening and reminded myself over and over again this is why I don't like Precipice Blades, because it did miss when it. I really needed it to hit. But that's another story, you know. Um, the tournament itself, I had a really good time, met up with a bunch of you guys. And it was really nice just seeing everyone and just catching up and just had a really nice time in general. So thank you to each and every one of the people that I met, hung out with and caught up with at the event. And a big shout out to David as well, who actually... Won the whole event and is our Bristol Regional Champion for this year, which is incredible and uh, just massive props to David. I know he does watch, so hopefully he is watching this one and uh, just a massive congratulations. Really nice to see you winning that event, my friend, and uh, I've been cheering on for you from the sidelines, even though I couldn't make it down on Sunday. Getting back to today though guys, so I said we would play th this team on the channel. Now, I came back from the event. Uh, had to think through the team and you know there was some issues there with I think covering certain options in the team. I went with the Dark Indium Z on Eveltal and before the event I was really toying with playing uh, the Misty Seed variant and I kind of went against that, played the Z move and I wish I'd played the Misty Seed. I think a lot of my matches would have went the other way if I'd been playing it outside of the RNG that, that did go on but um, I think if I played the Misty Seed set, it would have given me a lot more room in matches and just give Eveltal much better time to uh, operate like I wanted it to. So, the Cortana was alright. I've made a few adjustments to the team and I think this adjustment here, taking the Cortana out, putting the Thunderous uh, Incarnate form in, will make it a lot more solid. So we've got a way to shut down Xerneas a bit easier with Taunt, Prankster Taunt there. We can change the terrain with the Tapu Fini. We've got a way to still hit Tapu Fini, opposing Tapu Finis. That was the main reason I introduced Cartana there. It had the Grassy MZ, because minus one, you can still get the knockout, get the knockout on the bulky Kyogre. And this Thunderous with the Electro MZ kind of does the same thing, but it gives us another ground immunity because we've got quite a bit of ground weakness in our team, the Metagross, Incineroar, and Groudon. Tapu Fini, of course, doesn't really like taking Precipice Blades constantly um, and earth power as well as another thing so the thunderous gives us a nice option against opposing requires as well so this is the team that we're going to take into this week i'm actually looking forward to it as always the team is down in the description below there is a paste a roll paste poker paste as well if you do want to try it out go ahead and let me know how you get on with it but without further ado i guess let's just jump into it and get into today's episode i guess it probably better put some music on for us and yes, um, I'm trying to think. I feel like I've got a million and one things that I want to be telling you guys, but uh, my mind feels a bit foggy at the minute. So, I don't know how much, because I've not really broadcasted that that much recently. I've kind of kept it on low key, but Tash is pregnant. She was due last Saturday, so we're kind of expecting a little baby girl. And um, things have been a bit mental, hectic recently. So that is one of the reasons why I probably am a bit brain foggy at the minute. But it's a very exciting time and things like that. But we've got our first opponent, so we can get into that later. Because we've got Pokemon to think about, my friends. Right, our first opponent today is running a team of Duskman Necrozma, which is probably Ultra Necrozma, Groudon, Incineroar, Salamence, Tapu Fini, and Tapu Lele. So we've got double Tapus here. Um, the Tapu Lele going to be supporting the Dustman Necrozma. We've not really got... I mean, we could have Trick Room on the, the Duskman. It might not be Ultra Necrozma, but the main speed control is probably going to come from that Salamence, Mega Salamence there with the Tailwind, and then the Icy Wind from the Tapu Fini. We've got Tailwind, so we can take advantage of that. Eveltal is actually really good in this game. We have to be a bit careful around the Tapu Lele, the... 
the guard on if it's a uh, fire punch that will be something we need to be aware of a little bit so um i think i am going to bring you veltal for sure um do we want metagross as well metagross could actually be quite good it does well against tapu lele it does well against the salamence not too bad against groudon it does decent against ultra necrozma you gotta be wary about that earth power though um i think i need incineral tapu finny and do we go metagross metagross let's go metagross and leave groudon at home Ooh, are we doing this <laughs> <laughs> we put a lot of pressure on ourselves to deal with the opposing Groudon by not bringing our own Groudon, but Groudon was a bad, bad Pokemon in Bristol, so he's got a lot of making up to do. Hmm. So weird having a green screen and then having a green bottle because it just it just disappears. It's like an illusion. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I will behave. Okay. We see Tapu Lele and Necrozma come out for my opponent. We're going to lead off with Incineroar and Eveltal. So things looking all right for us right now. Um, I think we could switch straight into Tapu Fini with that Incineroar. Uh, activate our Misty Seed and just get a Tailwind up. And then that puts us in a little bit of a driving seat going into this next turn. And the thing I like about the Misty Seed on Eveltal is it kind of gives you the Assault Vest with access to set moves like Tailwind, like Disable, if you want, like Taunt and other options. So that's what I like. And you also get Protect as well, which can be very, very nice if you need it. So we're going to see Salamence come in for my opponent. Necrozma just save itself for later, as we're going to see. Probably Lele will go for a Moonblast into the Veltal. We could have protected here, but it'd be nice just to get our speed control going. Especially going into this next turn with the Salamence out in the field that wants to try and go for a Tailwind itself. And there's our Misty Seed activating, boosting that special defense on Veltal. Ooh. Fight to Z. Oh. <laughs> I didn't expect that. Okay. Little old Lele getting his fighting gloves on. It's going to be into the Finny though. Which Finney's gonna be like, hit me, hit me with your best shot. Let's see how much this does. I don't expect it doing very much damage. I mean, it does more than I kind of thought it would, but yeah. A little bit wasted. At least we know it's not scarfed, Lele, which makes things a little bit easier for us going forward. Um, Do I want to snarl or do I want to foul play the Salamence? Um, I'm a little bit worried like, that the Lele could potentially. I mean, does the Lele stay in even? I mean, what comes in? The Salamence definitely definitely tries to Tailwind, I think. It might protect here. Um, I mean, there's no harm in us going Snarl and Icy Wind. And that should put the Ments in range for a foul play the next turn. So we'll try that. Tapu Lele switching out. See Big Bad Groudon come in. I wonder if it is a special Groudon as well. So the Snarl will help there. Um, if it's not, and it's more physically based, then obviously the Foul Play will do. Do the job. It's so whether or not we see Salamence Protect. I doubt it does, though. I think you want to try and get the Tailwind up right now. Oh, actually, it switches out. And across my hitting the field again. Huh. I feel like my opponent's probably trying to maneuver a board position where they can get the Lele switch back in for the Groudon and um, try and get their, their Z-move going with the, the Psychic Terrain up. But as long as we kind of keep, as long as we keep pressuring from our side with the Veltal, which at the minute really, you know, is in no kind of danger at all. Um, what am I going to do? It's Ultra Necrozma, 100%. I think I'm going to foul play the Groudon slot, and I'm going to switch out Tapu Fini into Incineroar. It's just I want to be able to kind of get rid of the, the Psychic Terrain um, when it does decide to come back onto the field. I mean, having two Dark Types on my side of the field anyway does, does help with that Psychic Spam, but um, it's always just nice just making sure that you don't have that on the field when and you can. So we'll get the foul play into the ground on, do some nice damage there. Thunder Punch coming out, so the Intimidate there will be very helpful for us. And we're going to see a Trick Room set up from the 
Duskman, which is perfect because we've got Incineroar now on the field. Um, and we can we can fake out the Groudon. Um, our Tailwind will be ending soon anyway. Um, yeah, we'll just go for a Snarl, a cheeky old Snarl. And we'll just fake out into the Groudon. And our Tailwind will end and it'll mean that Incineroar will be slower than Groudon the next turn anyway. We'll get the Necrozma switching out. Tapalele gonna come back in. Oh, we've fallen for the trap. The trap! The trap of the Psychic Terrain in Trick Room as well, of all things. <laughs> no! Uh, well, we have Precipice Blades. I mean, Eveltal's safe for a turn, I guess. Oh, and Incineroar just out of... Oh, that's, that's a shame. Just out of berry range. I mean, with the sun up, to be honest. Hmm. I'm kind of tempted to flare blitz the Tapu Lele because of the, the, the trick room ending, but... Hmm. I don't know if it's the best thing to do. I really don't. I think maybe we go protect. Oh, could we just go for it? What's my opponent got? They got Salamence and they've got Duskmane. And we've got Ivaltal. I'm just going to try and get rid of the Lele now. We might fall into a trap where they protect. Doesn't look like they're going to. Although they are faster. Yeah. Mm. And we're going to lose our poor Incineroar. I mean, we kind of walked into this. Precipice Blades could miss, though. Never misses for anyone else. Only when you use it. <laughs> I always feel like this is the case. It's like, come on. Every time someone uses it against me, I just miss. Go on. Just just this one time. And it never does. Okay, so we'll get Tapu Fini back in. We'll get rid of the Psychic Terrain, which makes things a little bit easier for us. Not too worried about the, the Lele right now, anyway. Um, I'm going to heal Pulse. Oh, do I? Do I Snarl? Or do I? Hmm, how many turns of Trick Room are left? I think that's one thing we need to look out for. So two, okay. Because I'd like to heal Pulsy Veltal, because we'll probably get Thunder Punched again. And if we Snarl, because we'll Snarl before the Tapu Lele, um, we're putting a bit of pressure on that side of the field as well. Okay, well, we will heal Pulse, because we'll take a Thunder Punch from the Groudon. I was just going to press Blades. Okay. And the Lele, minus two, it's not really going to be doing too much to anything. We'll get Veltal back to full health. And we're going to snarl off. Snarl. Okay. So Lele kind of rendered useless. Groudon's nearly taken down anyway. Um, and there's a Moonblast. Yeah, not doing anything at all. Okay. Uh, let's just snarl again, I guess. And then just heal pulse. Because we probably do see... I mean, the Thunder Punch could come out into Tapu Fini. I kind of want to say that we'll probably survive it from this range. That the Groudon are minus one. Um, Precipice Blades, I don't mind. Well, the Lele are going to switch out. We're going to see Salamence come back in. Uh, so you've got access to that Tailwind the next turn. I'd prefer Precipice Blades here, if anything. That would be ideal. Um, because then Finny's Berry would, would proc. And the punch. And then we'll get the heal pulse, so Ivaltal back to tip top shape. And we'll get that snarl. We do need to be a little bit careful around the um the salmons now, but I think with the Groudon gone, it opens the door now for our Metagross to come in and just do its thing. Um and dimension turn back to normal. So we've got we're gonna have to contend with obviously a tailwind from the Salamence. So it's not super straightforward but it's not we're definitely not not in the worst position ever the Lele could do some big damage to Veltal we've got to worry about double edge from the Salamence as well um, and definitely Tailwind as well <sighs> but do I Tailwind here because I think like does my opponent Tailwind I really don't think they do we could potentially sack the the because I think you double Eveltal, for sure. And I, this could open the door for me to get an Icy Wind off. Salamence going to finally Mega Evolve. And 
let's see what my opponent does. So we'll protect. Not protect from the Lele. There's a Moonblast. Double edge into that slot as well. Nine to the Finny. So we will lose Finny. But that's fine. I mean, I, like, I don't mind that at all. Because we get Metagross in now. Metagross covers the Lele completely. Um, Veltal can set up a Tailwind. And then Metagross just... Well, then we just deal with everything between the two of them. So, we'll just cover a Veltal. We'll go Tailwind. Mega Evolve. And Iron Head into the Lele. And the Salamence now probably goes double edge into the Veltal. And the recoil damage. The Lele probably protects, I'd imagine. Oh, no protect. Hmm, that is interesting. I thought you would maybe protect there, try and get a Tailwind up, so then you've got a better chance to snipe the Evel till the next turn, but never mind. Okay, so there's a Double Edge, there's a Tailwind from ourselves. We're in a really nice position going into this next turn. So we can Ice Punch into the Salamence, or we could double up, potentially. Hmm. Double up into the Necrozma. Do we double up into it though? That's the thing. It's just, I think the one thing my opponent could do, and it probably would pull the game back round for them, would be a uh, trick room in here. But if we leave the Salamence alone, I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna foul play into the Necrozma and I'm gonna Ice Punch into the Salamence. Ooh, Necrozma protects. Okay, I mean, covering the Salamence here is fine, because that's I think that's the main thing that we need to do, just protect the Veltal. Yeah, and next turn we can just foul play, stomping into the Duskman Necrozma, and it should be game. Um, even if it's Ultra Necrozma, I think it's super fine. And the thing is with Ultra Necrozma, I feel like... Um, and I, I totally expected I'd face a lot of um, Ultra Necrozma. Ah, oh, come on, guy. It's not even been a haxy game. Why would you forfeit like that? Flip the table. <laughs> yeah, when going into Bristol, I really expected lots of X-Ray, lots, um, lots of Psychic Spam stuff. And that's really why I made the call with Yveltal, Groudon, um, and Metagross, primarily. Because... They generally do so well against those archetypes, but unfortunately, I only bumped into X-Ray, and there was some there was some mad X-Ray variants that I played, um, which were really interesting to play against. Um, but for the majority, the X-Ray teams that I did play, I did alright against. Um, so, yeah, I just expected to see Ultra Necrozma and things like that, which Yveltal just does well against in general. Um, and maybe I thought more Kyogre than anything. I didn't face any Groudon either, which was kind of weird for the whole tournament. Um, which was very surprising. But, you know, it happens sometimes. You kind of expect, going into a tournament, you expect these archetypes to appear and then they, they don't. So, or you just get different matchups, pairings, and it happens like that. So, it was, yeah, just one of those things. I had a lot of fun there, so I can't complain. Right, we'll go into our next one. After that disgraceful disconnect, how dare they? We'll go into Team Preview. Right, so our next opponent today is Mark. He is playing a team of Xerneas Groudon, Persian, a lot of Persian, uh, Ferrothorn, if I can think of the name, Salamence, and Tapu Fini. So we've got the Zerndon call. It's quite an interesting build with the, the there's no Incineroar there. You've got the Persian in place. So that's a faster fake out user. It's got access to Taunt as well. Um, and that parting shot, which can be a bit problematic for ourselves offensively anyway so it does threaten Metagross so that's something straight away that I would maybe look at and think mm, do I want to leave that on the sidelines here um, the Ferrothorn we've got double fire so we should be all right there I definitely want my own ground on in this match I think um, Salamence and Finny I think this one you know I really do feel like Thunderous could be really good here but I think one of the things that could disrupt the ability to utilize it is the Persian with its fake out and um, so if I lead Incineroar I can at least trade fake outs here um, and you know Incineroar is actually gonna be pretty decent here anyway so I think I'll go 
that, that, Groudon, and do I want Ebelto? Probably not. I probably want Metagross, I think, so we'll click in with that, and we'll get straight into this next one. Whew. At least we're getting double Metagross today. That's good. And it's nice to be able to feature the Thunderous. I've not even played with the Thunderous at all, so it's going to be interesting to see how it performs. I love Thunderous, though, you know. For those of you out there that played the older formats, um, 2015 and anything prior to that, you'll all know all about Thunderous, and um, it was on every team, pretty much. It was like the Incineroar. <laughs> Back in the day with Thunder Wave, Swagger, Taunt, all the shenanigans. So we are going to see the Persian come out. Um, with the Tapu Finian, it has got the the um, the Misty Seed there, which is interesting. Uh, we could have brought our only Velto, but I don't know. I don't know. Um, like I say, one thing we could do here is just just trade fake outs. Um, so I could protect just to keep health, I guess, or I could I could risk it and try for the um, the Gigavolt Havoc into the Tapu Fini. Although I don't really want to risk it right now because I think one of the things is it's got that special defensive boost. We're never going to be picking up the KO, so it's a little bit of a waste. If I can just get a Thunderbolt off into it, that would be amazing. I doubt I will. I think we'll just trade fake outs here. And I can't believe I've just faked out the Persian. I'm such a fool. Why do we do this to ourselves? Icy Wind, of course. Oh man. Why have we, why have we done this? <laughs> okay. Well, I don't. I. There's no words. There's no words for it. It's fine. We'll. We'll be. We'll be fine. Okay. So we'll protect Thunderous because I'd expect that's the slot where we'll see the parting shot come in. We'll just U-turn out with Incineroar and try and maybe maneuver ourselves. Oh, well, it'll depend. If the Persian does parting shot out on Incineroar then we can see what they bring in and we can make our decision based on that. And that's the beauty about the slow U-turn, I think, in these situations. But we might block the parting shot. No, they're, they're calling it. So this is, this is fine. I kind of prefer it like this anyway. So let's see what they bring in. If it is Xerneas, if it is Xerneas, I doubt it is, though. I think it'll be Groudon. Groudon. Okay. So we will get a bit of chip damage onto the Groudon. You've got to think, is it special? Is it mixed? Is it physical? Ooh, Swagger. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> it's definitely physical. Okay. So at least we'll get good old Incineroar out of the way. Man. Yeah, we need to bring in we need to bring in Groudon here. Um Hmm. We really need Metagross on the field as well. Uh but I think what I'll do is switch into Incineroar. Probably sack it get the ground on down to plus one and then get Metagross onto the field um, yeah it's a bit of a shame that we'll be sacking good old Incineroar but I mean we've kind of got to try and check this opposing ground on and if it's not max speed then you know it makes it a little bit easier to deal with just the finny play I think where we'll get this board position that we're after with the Metagross Groudon and then my opponent can go for the Protect with the Groudon and then Icy Wind with the Tapu Finny ah, and Gravity as well of course well at least that Precipice Blades will hit so that's a plus onto the field. Now here's the 50-50. Does my opponent protect the Groudon? Hmm. 
Or do they not protect it? Thank you. I think you protect it. Like, I think I'd protect Try and Icy Wind here. Because I don't feel like the Finny's in any sort of danger. That would be my initial thought. That's why I would go Iron Head into Finny and Precipice Blades. But at the same time, I could just... I could stomping into Groudon and Precipice Blades, but my opponent probably knows that. That's why I'd say they protect an Icy Wind, just to make sure. So hopefully we get this right. If we don't, then I think the game's pretty much over for us, because we'll probably lose Groudon, we'll probably lose Metagross, and then we got Thunderous, it does nothing. Okay, got a lifeline. Got a lifeline. All we need is to take down the Finny here. I mean, it's not over by any means. Oh, I don't think we're going to be able to do it, unless we flinch that Finny. If we can flinch the Finny, everything's good. Flinch! No. No. Nothing's good. Nothing is good. No. I think something we could have done is maybe not Mega Evolved and went for the Iron Head, and then... Mega Roll Protect, switch Thunderous in the crowd on right now. Um, the only thing I can really do is protect. Bring in Thunderous, sack it to get Groudon back in. Okay, Tapu Fini gonna switch out. Salomon's gonna come in. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to see Precipice Blades, for sure. And when we get a Groudon back in, I mean, that's the only thing we can potentially do, is hope that... It's just we can't even stop the Tailwind now, that's the, the problem. Hmm. Yeah, because the next turn, the Groudon probably protects Salamence, definitely... Tailwinds, and then we are we are knackered. There's like nothing we can do. So we're kind of hoping that my opponent makes a bit of a wrong decision not to protect their Groudon now, and we Earth Power their Groudon, and we get the KO. Obviously, we'd need to. Though I think that's like one thing. Nah, uh, they do protect. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Like, there's no point of risking it if you're my opponent. Like, they're making the the, the better the better call here. We're going to be able to get rid of the Salamence, for sure, with um, the Ice Punch. It's not even Mega Evolved, which is interesting. Yeah. We've got three turns of Tailwind to get through now. And that is not happening because Persian probably comes in now, and that just puts all the pressure on. I mean, we can try and stall out the gravity and then hope that they miss a precipice blades. I think that's the one thing that we kind of got going for us, but at the same time, it's not like super straightforward, is it? So, how many turns of grav? Oh, we've got one more turn, okay. <sighs> um, but at the same time, I think. Like, the Finny will outspeed, uh, like, both targets anyway, so it's going to be able to gravity up. Um, before before we can attack, which is a big problem. That icy wind as well onto the Metagross. I think that's, like, the big thing, like, for us definitely was, like, not Mega Evolving, going for the Iron Head. On the premise of what we thought my opponent was going to do, I think it made a lot more sense. And then we would have been, we wouldn't have been subjected to the uh, the icy wind like we were. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, we need to hope that the Finny doesn't go for an icy wind, and then we get a precipice blades miss. Um, we'll go for earth power and stomping into the ground on. Nah, them they're playing it safe. They're doing all the right things. So, ah, oh, dang, 
yeah, very good game to my point. I mean, they played it really well. I think it was more of a uh, Pokemon selection on our behalf. Um, that cost us the game, but good game, Mark. Uh, if we brought a Veltal there, I think it would have been a little bit better. But um, hmm, the gravity was something I didn't really think about in team preview. And I think it's something that you need to kind of keep in mind when you're going into matches, especially now more than probably early format. Where it was, it was seen a little bit, it's kind of went away and then it's kind of making its way back again because it is very effective, especially with the Finny, uh, the Heal Pulse, the Gravity, the Icy Wind. It's such a good combination with Groudon. Um, a little bit of a shame for us to end with a loss today on our first episode with the team, but I hope you guys have enjoyed the team. Um, do let me know in the comment section below what your thoughts are and uh, we'll be back for another, another round of games tomorrow with this team. And whether or not we play this for two weeks or not, we'll see. So I'll definitely play it out this week but we might change to a new archetype going into next week but i think it's a lot of fun this team so it should be really good going through this week with it but i look forward to hearing your comments guys thank you so much for tuning in and i'll see you all for the next one so until then take care and bye bye